From above the world of cars comes the world of planes. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks, and we're standing in front of the Museum of Flying. We're about to talk to stars, including Terry Hatcher, Dane Cook, and director Clay Hall. Let's take a look. So Dusty is an underdog who has a fear of heights, and so what's one of your fears in your life that you had to overcome? Well, I don't have phobias per se, like heights, mm -hmm. I don't think, um, although I do sort of have that natural reaction. I don't know, recently there was a guy who crossed a canyon on a wire, did you hear, Ooh, right? Yes. And just like hearing about that makes yeah. my palms sweat. So I definitely have <laughs> that reaction. But I say more than anything, I'm a person who, you know, my daughter and I, we like to do a lot of adventurous whitewater rafting and paragliding Ooh. off of hills in beautiful Switzerland yeah. or whatever. And when I get faced with a situation like that, I can feel fear come up. I can feel like, oh my gosh, this is a little scary. And then I'll just ask myself, you know, 50 years from now, do I want to think, wow, I didn't do that because I was scared, I chickened out. Like, and I usually, the answer will be no, I want to go through with the experience. So right. I'll force myself to get over that. But it, I guess that's the best example I give you. That's a good trait. I mean, everyone has their fears, especially when they're faced in that type of situation. Yeah. At the same time, yeah. it's fun, but scary. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of your daughter, you know, your character, Dottie, she's practical, but she's always behind um, Dusty, supporting him. At the same time, she's a little bit reserved and concerned for his safety. Does this apply to you as a mom? I don't know if that's exactly how my personal mothering is, and I think I th think of Dottie as ch nurturing as opposed to using the word mothering. I felt like mothering maybe would age her too much, <laughs> um, and I wanted her to fit into the community of the characters in this thing, but um, she is very nurturing. I think it's really the sign of a good friend, a good friend who can tell you the truth, right. which is sometimes hard to say, you yeah. know, it's hard to tell yeah. your friends things that, practical. you know, you don't want to hear, but at the same time, isn't going to crush you, is going to find a way to support you, um, you know, as much as they can and never give up. And I think that balance is really a true friend. I would love to have Dottie as my friend. I think everybody deserves yes. to have Dottie as a yes. friend. And she could fix your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Just call her up anytime. Dottie, can you fix my car? For free. Yeah. <laughs> she's such a great friend. And, um, you know, Dottie, she is so lovable and she keeps Dusty grounded, but she's still supporting him. So what's your advice on keeping grounded at the same time going after your dreams? I think when you're going after your dreams, I think sometimes people underestimate how much effort it's going to take to become great at something. Yeah. I think people give up too quickly. I think they, if it doesn't happen instantly, you know, with anything, um, you know, from playing an instrument to, you know, getting in some sort of physical shape, you know, we seem to want things very, very quickly. And so I think my advice would be to not underestimate how long you're gonna have to work at something to actually become really good at it, but know that you can if you're willing to stick with it. Yeah. And what's one moment in your life that you felt like you just won a race? Oh, wow, that I just won a race. Oh my gosh. You know that amazing feeling out yeah, there? Yeah, I do, I do know what you're talking about. Um, I mean, I've actually been in some races that I've never won, but I've kind of felt like I won them just because I crossed the finish line. <laughs> Good job, yeah, it's the effort that counts. It is the effort that counts. So I think it is your own perspective of, of yourself, you know? I think every time I, you know, I just did, like yesterday, I just did a big run out here at Santa Monica and did all the stairs and, you know, like six Good miles. You. And I got to the end of that and I thought, I didn't really know that I was capable of that, and I and I pushed through, and I felt really good about myself. So it can happen in little moments. It's you know? that never give up attitude. Yeah, and little moments of accomplishment and reward. And finally, for the last question, what's your favorite kids movie? Oh my gosh, my favorite kids movie. You say you mean animated? I guess I guess you mean animated. Kids, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Aristocats. I love Ooh, the big, yeah, yeah classic. very classic. Love that yeah. movie.